Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. May you be blessed. Praise the Lord. This is Sunday, 18 February 2024. I'm a prophet of Bon. Today, I'm going to talk about dream, how God speaks to people through dream, and then how they respond to it. We all know God, when you read the Bible, God spoke to Solomon in a dream. And many people God has spoke through dream to them. Solomon received dream from God. And God was asking him what he want God to do for him. When you read first came, Three, five for now. You will see when God spoke to Solomon in the dream. And at the same time, God also spoke to Jacob. Jacob in a dream. Genesis chapter 31, verse 10 to 12. God also spoke to Jacob in a dream. Dream is a spiritual thing. It's not a... Um, physical so if you are not living in a righteous life or in a spiritual life you cannot understand spiritual things because bible said god is a spirit so if you want to understand god you have also live in the spirit how can we live in the spirit we have to go the word of God in our life. We have to move with the word of God in our life. Because the Bible said God, the word of God is God. Without God, without the word of God, there is no God. Praise the Lord. He used his words to do everything he does. Without his words, he cannot do anything. And the Bible make, make us clear that the word of God is God. Talking about the dream, when God spoke to Solomon in a dream, he said, ask for whatever you want me to give it to you. And we all know that Solomon asked for wisdom and many things. Praise the Lord. It's not only these two people. God spoke to the many people. When you read the scriptures, you could understand how God spoke to a lot of people in a dream. And you understand the basis of understanding of the dream he has given to them. Now, so the Bible more. When you have a Bible, you can say, when you have a Bible, you can say, when you have a Bible, when you have a Bible, Oh, Genesis chapter 31, verse 10 and 12. We saw Solomon with dream, we said, even after some years, my mom, in your dream. And to who Bible, no, you will be a baby, you will be a coupon, any nation of war, any prophets, any the probably be no ekasa, a old dream. Now, woman, so tiasi, a son say, say, young coupon, sorry to say, so young coupon, Bible saw your home. And he said, Oh, you know, who you know, and I am yes, I want to know when you are on Tiasi. It's like, say, Fuck all the countries, you know, one tenaka such so she. And when we learn the word of God, we are bathing in our spiritual form. God is a spirit. In this case, we have to learn the word of God every day so that we can build our spiritual life. When God spoke to you in a dream, many people receive dreams they don't understand. Then at the other day, they will look for a man of God to explain to them. It's not bad. But I can tell you today that if you are a Christian and you have you receive message through dream, you have to understand it. Once you accept 
Christ as your personal savior, God can speak to you through dream. As I'm talking to you now, God can speak to me, I'm a prophet. God can speak to me in a revelation. Because we have two things, dream and revelation is not the same. It's different thing altogether. Hallelujah. Revelation is now I'm talking. God can speak to me and maybe tell me things. I'm not sleeping. But dream is something like when you are sleeping, when you are sleeping, God reveals things to you in the dream. So you can see the tool is not the same. Now, let me go to my topic. Let me go to my topic because I, I, I sat down and think about this dream because people do not understand on the dream. When the dreams, when they dream, in the paper brain, take the air and so most of the air want to see. Um, now also the air want to see the air. And now, Kaka Kakara Kakara be now come. So, when you are men and take offer your mere sem at the bow, browse you in your mere sem one every day, name your mere sem train, winning your mere sem and dear, but in your mere sem. I was in your mere sem, I mean, I said, I'm putting now some money be away. So, if you want to understand God, you have to take His word along with you. You have to learn the word of God every day. So, the time came when King Herod was trying to kill Jesus when he was born. And the Bible said, an angel of the Lord spoke to Joseph through dream that the King Herod is trying to kill him. So they should go to Egypt. And you can see that Herod himself was in Egypt. And God said he had to go to Egypt. Hallelujah. Let's read from um, Matthew chapter 2, verse 13. Matthew chapter 2, verse 13. Like in Kayafi, Matthew, woman, a tetos in the Yimu, a tumi and Samu. I was in a old young coupon, you know, what the train Joseph would dream and say, Hello, air pet, Nebanacum, and he won any red, anybody in a won't go Egypt. And to look at the Bible, no one. Matthew chapter 2, verse 13 of the escape to Egypt. The escape to Egypt was when they had gone, he they had gone. An angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in the dream. And the line is, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in the dream. Oh, he said, those visitors who go and visit Jesus, Bible says, after they left in the midnight, then the angel of the Lord, God sent the angel to go to where Joseph and Mary and the Jesus was. In a dream, appeared to him, telling him what to do. So, when you woke up in the morning and you have dream in the night and you say you are not understand, that means your spiritual life is low. I don't know how to measure it, but I can tell you, your encounter with God is very poor. You have to be in a righteous life. You have to learn the word of God. You have to take the word of God along with you. Oh, who tell me I need to ask you that? Yes, sir. Who did that? Yes, yeah. But if we make catch, they will say, "Unu wa yongo fanya mintemu na akofom." Abra bono eni nyame mintemu e wofom. Hallelujah. So, when the angel appeared to Joseph in a dream, he said to him, "Get up," he said. Take the child and his mother and escape to Egypt. Stay there until I tell you. Until I tell you. For hello is getting going to search for the child to kill him. Hallelujah. 
I say now, catch it and say, On sorry, no one found a banner in the mammy. No one could Egypt. No one to my home. Copper Tama or no other beside him. A cassature room, a proud moon flew. Oh, now, can you hello? I shake up a fan idea. The angel said to Joseph, Get up, take the child and his mother, and escape to Egypt. Stay there until I tell you. For Herod is going to search for the child to kill him. So, if Joseph did not understand this dream, how can he escape to, uh, to Egypt? He can't. Or maybe he woke up in the morning and he said, I had a dream. So he's going to look for a prophet or maybe a priest to explain to him. If the priest or the prophet could not explain it better to him, how can Joseph escape with the child to Egypt? They will be there and Herod will kill the baby. Kid Jesus. But I thank God that Joseph was with God. And he understood the dream completely. And then he picked his wife and the child and they left to Egypt. They stayed there. Let's continue. And the Bible says that Joseph would name Fanny, Mary, Nene, and the Jesus, Edward Moya, then a call Egypt, a Cotanaho. Said ye, above one, Cassio Chiromo, dream the moon, die at soon moon. Praise the Lord. There we turn, who can name Tina Nasikan, Matthew chapter 2, verse 19. There we turn to Nazareth. After Herod died, listen to me very careful, and underline this. After Herod died, an angel of the Lord appeared in a dream to Joseph in Egypt. Bible says now, hello the woo ye no. Hello the woo ye no. We now make both one one. I rather smile man over catch the Joseph say. In the dream view, and said twenty no. Get up, take the child and his mother, and go to the land of Israel. For those who were trying to take the child life are dead. Um, the Bible says, Now, bra, hello, the way you know, when I'm above one, no, sir, catch the Joseph, you the same dream room. Say, Sorry, father, father, my mammy, Nessa, call me the That's right. Now, the world should share above front and corner a cool room. Praise the Lord. Oh, so they can put on it here. And he, me near by me near by. So what should I know anti Asia? I very bad. As a Christian, what should I know anti Asia is very very bad. Did you hear me say Onipa ni yami ya pani ba yepe? Onipa ni onyango pamo ben anti. Onipa be pe onyami ya semu di abone bra. Na onyami unhu kuno ti matem because God is a spirit. There is no way you can understand God unless you live in a spirit. So the Bible said, when King Herod was King Herod died, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in Egypt and said, Get up, take the child and his mother, and go to the land of Israel. For those who were trying to take the child's life are dead. So Joseph and Mary picked Jesus and they returned back to Israel, Nazareth. Where they go back and stay. I am telling you this time, this around, things of the Lord and the things in the spirit. If you want to live a better life, you have to go along with Jesus Christ, the Word of God. If you want God to protect you, you have to obey the instructions of the Lord. And if you want to understand God, then you have to read the word of God. By abiding the word of God, the spirit of God will be in you, will dwell in you, so that anything from God you will understand. God can speak to you in a dream. And you understand what the dream means. Hallelujah. When fellow dream, 
Bible said he did not understand the dream. And he, through that, Joseph was in prison. An interpretation was given to the Pharaoh. That's why Joseph became a prime minister in Egypt. His kinsmen, his clan, all these fetish priests behind him, they couldn't understand the dream. They did not explain to him. But Joseph, with whom the Spirit of God was within, explained the dream to the king. And the king said, because of this, I will make you this position. I am a man of God, a prophet of God as that matter. Before you can see a prophet on a platform prophesying, giving accurate prophecy to the members in the church or whatever, and the people were marvels with the word of God, before you can confirm that a prophet has a prophes prophesied to you and you have confirmed that this is true, I will tell you the truth that if the man of God who is prophesying to you and you have confirmed that the prophecy is true, it's not from God or it's not hearing from God, he will tell you lies. Let us abide the word of God in our life. Let us go along with the word of God so that when God spoke to us, we will understand. Dream is important. Dream is playing a role in our Christian life. Without dream, somebody will tell I had a dream. I had a dream. It's true. Dream. Everybody dream. Everybody. But the meaning of the dream or its understanding is not everybody understand the dream you dreamed. I thank you. And I thank the Most High God for this message. So, try to build your Christian life with the Word of God. Try to pray along. Read the Word of God daily. And may the Lord richly bless you. So that when you dream, you understand it. Amen.